John Cena sucks. Well, folks, it's going to be one of those videos. That's right. You see the title? You probably knew what you were in for. Yes, this is a video explaining about how John Cena pretty much destroyed the WWE as we once knew it. So if you love wrestling, if you love nostalgia in wrestling, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, hit that like, and let's continue. John Cena. Let me just get this out of the way now. I do not hate John Cena as a person. John Cena is an unbelievably skilled athlete and sports entertainer. He's great on the mic. He's great in the ring. However, although John Cena started as like that wankster kind of, you know, rapping image that he was going for, eventually he became the modern day Hulk Hogan. And what do I mean by that? Hulk Hogan really catered towards the kids. And once WWE started going in the direction of more family friendly oriented content, that's when everything really started going downhill. When it literally got to the point where Vince McMahon said, no more blood, no more blading, no more violence. That's where the older audience, the people in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, etc., started not watching as much anymore, okay? But here's the funny thing. As soon as John Cena got there, what was it, like 2002, 2003? I forget. Things started changing very rapidly. The Rock left. Stone Cold was basically forced to retire. The badasses of the industry were starting to dry up. I mean, pretty soon all you had was like Undertaker and Kane and a few others and Triple H and then Batista and I guess Randy Orton. But the fact of the matter is, John Cena was then the face of the company when it used to be badasses like Stone Cold, The Rock, Triple H, etc. Once John Cena became the face of the company, WWE started becoming more attractive to the little kids again. And here's the thing, at the end of the day, money talks, shit walks. That's what it is. Vince is all about putting out a product and making as much money as possible. And that's what every businessman wants to do. So Vince says, well, I could make a hundred million with Stone Cold and The Rock but I could make a billion with John Cena as the face of the company and toning down the violence. Well, as a business decision, what are you gonna go with? Obviously, you're gonna go with what's gonna make you more money. Now, these are just random figures I just came up with on the spot. I didn't do any research to find out how much of a difference in between John Cena being the face or Stone Cold or The Rock being the face. I didn't look up that information, so don't quote me on that. But the fact of the matter is this. John Cena, I respect him as a person, as an athlete. I mean, the guy gives 120%, a million percent every time he goes out there. He's the first one there, he's the last one to leave. Now he's kind of taking a page out of The Rock's book and he's an actor now and all that stuff. God bless him, great, that's wonderful. But Vince using him as the pawn to make WWE a weak ass product because there was no longer any Monday night competition with WCW since he bought all of his competition. There you go. It changed everything. John Cena killed the WWE in my opinion. And I know a lot of people are going to hate me for that, but it is what it is, guys. It's not something I'm making up. It's what I observed. So in the comments section, do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Do you think John Cena killed the WWE? Do you think it was Vince McMahon who killed the WWE? Which you could argue, I mean, it really wasn't John Cena's doing. He was booked how he was booked. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. If you made it to this part of the video, comment, you can't see me. And let me know some other topics you would love to hear. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notifications, and uh, keep watching that wrestling. And we'll keep talking about it.